Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas number seven, and this time I thought that I would hit two birds with one stone. I owe you guys a November favorites video, and a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about is pretty holiday themed, so I think it goes with Vlogmas. So let's get started. I got a lot of good stuff here to talk about. My first favorite I'm actually wearing today and it's this Free People plaid shirt. But what I love about it is that it's got these little sequins strands running through it, which I think is so perfect for this time of year. I've been wearing it a ton. You can dress it up. I usually like kind of pair it with like leather leggings because if you notice, it's a little billowy. So it's perfect because it can hide your holiday food baby and you can eat all the things you want to eat. So I love to wear this up or down. You know, you can dress it up with like leather leggings and heels. You can tuck it into a skirt. And then you could also wear it with like jeans, keep it chill with like some Ugg boots or little booties, that kind of thing. But I just love it because it's so multifunctioning. And I usually kind of wear like a little cami underneath because it's a little bit low. But you could also put like a really pretty like lace bralette underneath. And it's super nice because you can always wear some pretty necklaces because it shows off your neckline here so I'm really loving this top right now and I'm sure I'm gonna be wearing it a ton in December so I'll link that down below along with everything else I always like to remind you guys that everything is linked down below and it also comes in a red plaid which I also tried on but I just kind of liked the green with like my darker hair and my skin tone it just kind of is like a little bit more neutral so so my next fave here, I get asked about a lot, which is my lip color that I wear on my blog. So you guys know me, I love my nude lipsticks. Right now I'm mixing two different liquid lipsticks and these are from Marc Jacobs. So the first one that I layer on is the hot cocoa color and it's kind of like a darker nudie brown. And then what I do is after that's dried, I add this one called Fawn Over Me on top. And it's super pretty. It just like makes it more of like that nudie color on top. And I just love these two mixed. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And I'll either line my lips with the Sephora number four and the name is Creme de la Creme. And I love these ones because they're super creamy liners. So they almost can act as lipsticks. I kind of overline them and put them in. So sometimes I'll just even line my lips with this and then I'll add um, the Fawn Over Me one on top just to kind of make it like a little bit more nude. Because sometimes I, I just, I like a darker lip for certain looks, but for every day I kind of like to neutralize it. So my trick is always mixing two different nudes. I haven't found like the nude of my dreams yet. I feel like I always mix mix but I kind of like that because it's kind of like customized to you my next beauty fave is the Armani fragrance because it's you and I actually went to an event where we did like a helicopter ride and all of this craziness and Neil has like the matching one there's like a his and hers um, in the line and they even engraved my name on it it's super cute but I just I fell in love with this fragrance and I like a little something that's a little heavier during the winter months I just like something more like musky especially for the evening in the summer and spring I like a little lighter fragrance but I have just been loving this so much lately all right so the next thing I want to talk about you could probably already guess because if you look at my Instagram feed all you probably see is me wearing pom-pom beanie hats but guys these just keep you so warm they save me on bad hair days and I just have so many this year like I've I already had a pretty big collection last year but I feel like I've just bought way more because I am obsessed with pom-pom beanies. It's a real problem. And Neil's like, if I see you buy another one of these, I'm gonna throw it out. Cause there's just so many of these in my closet. And I love this one because there's fleece. And I live in Canada, so I gotta keep this little head warm. Otherwise my ears freeze, especially when I'm going on walks with Lucy. But I just think that they look so cute. And this one has like such a pretty palm. I feel like it's all in the palm. If the palm is cute, that's what sucks me in. Cause there's some palms that are not as cute and they kind of look a little ratty and just not my vibe. So I'm kind of like a palm beanie snob, I feel like. But this one is really nice, it's faux fur. And then this one is lilac, but it comes in white and red and all these other colors. I think this is probably my favorite one of the season but I have a few different ones that I have from like Topshop and other kind of shops like that, so I'll link those down below as well. But 
definitely my November fave. Speaking of pom-poms, what I have here is one of my most cherished items of the month and it keeps me super cozy all year long, but I just love having this as a decor piece. So it's a blanket, but they've got all of these cute little pom-poms on it. And I got this last year, but this year they've come out with many more colors. They have like blush, they have white cream, there's ones with real fur, there's ones with faux fur. I love this one because it's gray with white palms. I don't think they have the gray with the white palms anymore, but I'm going to link all the similar ones down below. I know these things are selling out super fast, but I bought it last year and it just makes such a nice cozy piece to have on your couch or even on like a blanket ladder I have one back there and I just love these I think they're just super cozy and I'm just a sucker for anything with pom-poms I'm super happy that Lucy has calmed down with biting things like this because when she was a puppy I had to hide everything with tassels and pom-poms because I didn't realize how many things I buy with tassels and pom-poms and when you have a new puppy that's like their favorite thing to bite so next up I have another cozy fave of mine and this is a top that I picked up from Anthropology, and I just loved the sleeves on this. It's just so wintry, chic perfection. I don't know, I probably don't even make any sense right now. But I just love things that are like neutral, but they have texture, there's a little design on it, and it just like kind of like adds a little bit something different to a sweater that's a neutral because I feel like sometimes I just always have the same things or the same neutrals and basics and it's just nice to like find a piece like this that's a little bit different has that texture and yeah I just absolutely love this I'm definitely on a cozy binge right now clearly because it's freezing here in Canada so I gotta keep myself warm and these are little slipper booties which I think are so cute they've got little pom-poms again some really nice fleece inside here and they're just like these cutest little knit booties and I just think they're just so cute to have to wear them around the house and you know just like hang out and relax in like leggings and a cozy big comfy sweater and my toes have been keeping cozy and comfy in these so I'm absolutely loving these and they're an amazing price they were on sale especially during Black Friday but they always have good sales these are from Old Navy so I'm gonna see if I can link a similar pair in case they're sold out but I absolutely love going and getting sweaters from uh, sorry slippers from Old Navy this time of year because they're super cheap but they're really cozy and I always like treat myself to a new pair every single year and if you got extras you can always keep them in a little basket at the front of your door and whenever you have guests and it's winter and they want to keep their toes warm they can always pop on some slippers my next fave you've seen me talk about this I'm sure on my page and this is the Magnolia journal it's issue number five it's their wonder issue I love Magnolia, I love Joe and Chip. Chip and Joe is what people usually call them. But I just absolutely love it because there's always recipes and amazing decor ideas. There's always thoughtful articles in here. And I just absolutely love them. There's always like DIYs and stuff like that. And I just feel like I don't really pick up magazines anymore. Especially like I used to always collect like fashion magazines and all that kind of stuff. but. I don't know, I've just been like craving more intentional articles and magazines. So you guys have seen me talk about like relevant and all that stuff, but I absolutely love Magnolia because you get the best of both worlds. You get style and design and home and lifestyle, but then you also get the great intentional articles inside, which I absolutely love. So my next fave should probably be like some sort of chocolate that I've been munching on, but I've been really trying to offset all of my naughty eating habits, the cookies, all of the holiday stuff right now with some healthy smoothies in the morning so at least I feel like I balance it out you know in the morning and I just recently found these smoothie cubes from Whole Foods and I'm sure it varies depending on what Whole Foods you go to so this one that I got has banana kale and hemp seeds in it and then this one over here has mango pineapple and turmeric and turmeric is super good for you I always put them in like my eggs and I sneak them in little recipes here and there whenever I cook I'm just loving these I usually use my acai bowl uh, like smoothie packs those frozen packs and then I use like a greens plus powder and I mix it up but I just saw these in the grocery store on a whim and I just said like let me just try it out and see how I like them because they're just easier rather than like having to like get out mango and get out kale and get all these other things if I can just like put it in a cube and add like almond milk or whatever and shake it up in my Vitamix then I'm going to do it even more and it makes less mess you just like literally take out a few cubes and yeah you have a really nice smoothie 
All right, so I guess my last fave would have to be all of the holiday decor. As you can see behind me, I feel like there's way too much to show, and I think that that's definitely gonna be another Vlogmas video. How do you guys feel about a holiday home tour? Yes, no, let me know in the comments below. I love having twinkly lights around and all of the decor. We got some new ornaments and all that fun stuff. You guys can see us putting up our tree in the other Vlogmas video, but that's definitely one of my favorite things this month is just seeing everyone put up their lights, their Christmas trees, going out for a walk for a coffee and just seeing all the twinkly lights it just makes me super happy and i've just really packed the house with as much decorations as we can fit in our little condo because it just makes me super happy and i just think it looks super beautiful and it's just my favorite time of year as you guys can tell yeah i would definitely say that that's one of my favorites and so far i think that that is it for this video um i am going to include a fun little giveaway next and you can also see See if you want our last giveaway in the next slide but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me I so appreciate you watching this video if you liked it and you want to see more please subscribe and as always I've linked everything down below so I'll see you guys next time so for today's giveaway I am giving away eight of these beautiful new Estee Lauder lipsticks from their new Pure Color Love collection. And all you gotta do is be subscribed to this channel, like my Facebook page, and comment on my last Instagram post letting me know that you're a part of the hashtag SSVlogmasFam. And that's all you gotta do.